In this course, you're going to do a number of assignments. You can, of course, do them locally on your machine, but if you would like, you can also submit them through GitHub and get them evaluated by a bot. In this video, we're going to tackle how this can be done exactly. In order to submit your assignments, you have to have the GitHub account. If you don't have one just yet, then head over to github.com and create one. It's free and it's easy to do. Once you've done that, then head over to the C++ for yourself organization that I created on GitHub and navigate to the homeworks uh, repository. Once in the homeworks repository, uh, which is a repository where I store a template for you to follow so that everything is set up automatically whenever you want to, to use um, such a repository. To use this repository, just click on the green button, use this template, and let's call it Homeworks 2. Um, you don't have to fill in any description and just click the green button, create repository from template. Um, this will take uh, sometimes a couple of minutes, usually it will happen instantly, but now you have uh, your own uh, fork of that of that repository. Um, now that that fork is uh, in place, you will work solely with this fork, so you will not touch the, the original repository in any way. And um, instantly you have everything set up for, for work. So what we can do, um, and what I set up uh, for you to do, you can also read it in the, um, in the description in the readme below here, but uh, what you have to do is you have to go to example homework, example task copy, and if you look at this commands.sh, um, it's empty. But it's designed to not be empty, and the, your first task, like a test task, is to actually fill it in. So let's do just that. So, in order to do that, we click on the code. You can see that you have uh, um, different ways to clone your code, and if you have the SSH key set up, then uh, just copy the SSH um, repository. If you don't, then you can always use the HTTPS option and just fill, fill in your uh, username and password whenever you want to do something with the code. But let's use the SSH key right here, and uh, let's switch to the terminal. In the terminal, you will start from your home directory and uh, I suggest to create a folder for the course. So let's uh, create a folder and name it, let's say, Project uh, uh, CPP Course. So let's go to now to Project CPP Course folder and now when we are in this folder, we can actually uh, use the saved link over here and we need to type in git clone this link. Now you click on enter and the clone command basically just takes the remote repository from git and puts it to the local storage on your file system. Now if I type in ls and see what folders are there in my current folder, then you can see that homeworks is there. So let's navigate to the homeworks here. Cool. So the first task uh, here is uh, for you to create a PR into your own repository so that uh, the, the whole automatic pipeline can kickstart. For that, you will have to modify some files, or actually first you need to create a branch, modify some files, stage them, commit them to this branch, and then push this branch to the remote repository um, on, on, on GitHub. We'll do just that. So we'll start with uh, git uh, checkout minus b, uh, which creates a branch, and let's name it uh, the uh, the example example task. So now we are on the branch example task, and we can see this by typing git status. So it says that we are on branch example task, and there is nothing to commit. Now let's navigate uh, into the homeworks um, and into the example homework and into the example, uh, let's navigate to the example task. 
Great, so now there is one file there and this file has um, is called commands sh. So let's just see the contents of this file and we can use the cat command that you've probably seen before. If you don't know these commands and if you're uncomfortable with navigation in the terminal, then feel free to watch the terminal video on this, uh, on this channel. I will link it some, somewhere either below this video or on the screen. Uh, great, so if we, if we just uh, look at the contents of this file, then you can see that there is ls uh, written in it. I don't really know uh, why there is this uh, percentage sign out there, uh, but the only thing written there is the ls uh, command. So what we have to do now is, now let's go to the example task uh, copy, and it's designed to be a full copy of the example task. And you can see that there is the commands.sh uh, here too, but if we cut the commands.sh, then you can see it's empty. So what we want to do now is we want to copy the uh, contents of the, uh, of the file in the example task into the example task copy. And we can use just, we can just copy that file directly, so let's do just that. Um, right, so we are now in the example task copy and we want to go to the example task. We want to copy the commands.sh and we want to copy that file here. Great, so we've done that. Now we have the commands.sh and we can uh, um, see the what happens in there and now we can see that ls is uh, inside of that file. So all good. The local changes are there. Now we just need to uh, upload them to our remote repository on GitHub. Um, right, let me clear the screen. Okay, so let's just type in git status to see what happens there. And um, you can see that we have one modified file, the commands.sh. And it even uh, tells us that no changes are added to the commit. So let's do just that. Let's do git add. Um, and let's uh, let's add the commands uh, sh. Now, if we do another git status, then you can see that now we have modified the commands sh, and now you see it's green, so it's added to the uh, it's added to the staging area. And now, what we need to do is we need to commit to our changes, basically. We say, well, these are the things that we want to change, and now we've committed to having this changed as one single change. So what we do is we type git commit, minus m just provides a message, and we um, add a correct copy of commands uh, file. So we add this message here, and now it will commit everything that we've staged for a commit. Let's just uh, click enter and you can see that now we have a commit um, and uh, we see that one file is changed, there is one insertion. Let's type git status again. There is again nothing to commit because we actually have um, our commit already in, so it will it, it's there, like it's stored. So this information cannot be easily lost. Right, so now the final thing left is to actually push this branch to the, uh, to the remote uh, in our GitHub. And we can do that by the command git push. Uh, origin is usually the link uh, under which our remote repository is available. And uh, we can now, so we have the branch name example task. So we want to push um, the example task branch to the origin uh, link. And let's do just that. Okay, great. So now you can see a bunch of output uh, here in the terminal, and you can see that we can create a pull request for example task on GitHub by visiting the link that is helpfully provided to us uh, here in the, uh, in the terminal. So let's just do that. Let's open this link. It opens in our, um, in our browser. And uh, you can see that we are back to, the, uh, to our repository in Homeworks. So it knows automatically that we have to uh, create this, this pull request or PR uh, from the example task branch into the main branch. 
which basically means that we ask the main branch to pull from our branch into itself the changes that we've, uh, that we've set up here. Right, so um, we can write some information in the PR body. Um, in the end, uh, use your own judgment here. Uh, it's your own project, but uh, do not leave it empty because in the end you will thank yourself later when you come back to it and you it will be easier for you to remember what you did if you look at those PRs um, in the past. So uh, let's type that this should fix uh, the failing test um, designed uh, to teach us how to create PRs. Okay, I think this is good enough uh, for me for now. And now I can click the create pull request. Um, right, don't click this uh, green button because it disappears quite quickly. Uh, and now you can see that there is a bunch of actions uh, happening in there. Um, and these actions have to all finish in order for you to, uh, to push this uh, PR. So the way I designed the system is that it uploads uh, the comments uh, here onto this uh, PR as the GitHub Actions bot. And at first uh, it shows you basically a progress bar or like a progress uh, animation like this one that you see on the screen right now. And it just shows that um, something is happening. So you should just wait. It takes a while um, sometimes to finish all the jobs. So be a bit uh, patient uh, about it. But now you can see that it has just finished and you can clearly see that we have finished our task and uh, the test results uh, are actually positive here. So, but you can see that there is still some action running in the background and this action is uploading the results of this particular test. So the same test results as you see in this comment uh, above, uh, it tries to upload them to the wiki of your repository. And the problem with uh, GitHub is when you create a new repository, your wiki is empty. So it fails to upload uh, the information to the wiki because the uh, wiki is just not there. The wiki repository in the end is just another Git repository is just not there. So we will have to fix it once. So whenever you do this first PR, you will have to go through a couple of manual actions to fix it once and for all. And then uh, you're never gonna experience this, uh, this error again. So what you have to do is you have to click these two links in the sequence and let's start with the first one. So let's click the first one. And uh, you can see that we uh, create a new page in the wiki here, which essentially creates the whole wiki for us. And you don't have to change anything in this uh, page, just have to click the save page below. Great, so now our wiki has a page. That means that now our wiki repository is available for our actions and we can go back to the, um, to the example here and follow up with the second action where you have to click this link and then just click the rerun all actions button under this link. So let's do just that. Let's go to this link and you can see that the upload results to Viki was failing, but we can click the rerun all jobs uh, button here, which essentially just restarts all of those uh, jobs from before. Now, if we go back to, the, uh, uh, to our uh, repository and to our PR, we will see that again, the tests are running, the animation kicks in, so everything just uh, starts happening. And, um, and we can uh, wait a little bit. Hopefully it will not be a long wait for it to finish. And once it finishes, uh, we should be completely done with the first example homework or example assignment completely done. And with that, you should be well equipped um, to, to be able to submit your tasks further on. Right, so as I said, now that you can, now you can see that the test results all look green, the wiki is available and we can click this link and see that this wiki is indeed available and has the same results as the PR uh, from before. And now that everything is green, we can actually click on merge pull request 
and uh, we can confirm this merge and now delete the branch. Awesome. So now if you go back to your homeworks repository, uh, you can see that uh, we have the commit with the add a, corrected, uh, a correct copy of the commands file. And if we click on the wiki, then we see the result uh, of our last command in our wiki, which is exactly what we wanted. So I hope that uh, helps you in submitting your assignments going forward. And if you have any questions, then feel free to start a discussion. See you soon. Bye.